Welcome back, guys. Yeah, it is official, man. This is the last weekend of uh, late muzzleloader archery uh, for the 2021 uh, season here in New York. And unfortunately, it is winding down real fast. This morning, I was unable to get out. Uh, so I'm going to head out just for a midday hunt today. I'm hoping that I see something today. So we'll see what happens. Stick with me, guys. Let's get down there. Guys, while I'm rolling down here, um, I just wanted to share with you guys that uh, I had a uh, short time the other day, you know, like three hours of uh, downtime. I said, you know what, let me uh, grab my gear and uh, I'll get out there in the woods and see if I can make something happen. So I decided to go to a piece of public that was about 15 minutes from my house. And, you know, being that close to the city, it gets, it gets quite a bit of activity. But the activity that I experienced that day, I never thought would actually happen. It was uh, pretty, pretty interesting. So check, check some of the highlights out of that hunt. Okay, guys, there's a hunter right there. He's kind of set up relatively in the area that I wanted to set up. I don't want to mess up his hunt, so I'm going to completely back out. And I'm gonna reposition myself. Oh, I'm sure the hunter has seen me, but he's still running the dogs. He's gotta be 200 yards from me. The dogs just pushed the pheasant. He worked them hard. Yeah, he did. He did a great job, man. He moved those birds for you. Yep. <laughs> did you get one? Uh, you know, he pointed one at 20 yards, and I was so stunned, it got up right in front of me, and I never got a shot. Never. <laughs> That's part of hunting, though. That's it. That's how it goes. Well, the deer will be out in the next half hour. So. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Good for you. All right, thank good you. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. That's awesome, guys. There you go. No, he was in the uh, in the thicker grass. Okay. Yep. Well, guys, what started off is funny. It's actually gotten pretty sad there's a hunter walking the field right now during prime hunting time oh man i didn't expect that to happen here well guys it looks like my hunt is over yeah this is public land hunting guys uh yeah i think i'll uh, grab my gear start putting it all together here and make my way out it's definitely an experience to remember. All right, guys, let's get out there and see if we can't make something happen this evening. All right, guys, it is incredible out here right now. I've got an east wind. It's like 54 degrees, and um, I haven't seen many hunters. I think I've seen only one other hunter out here, so that's really good news. Um, hopefully, uh, we get down this trail. Oh, by the way, Jeff called me, and he's on his way. He's going to meet me here. Um, when we get down this trail here, um, I'm hoping that uh, we come across that same area that was dropping those oaks and uh, might have a couple of deer on it. So we're going to cross our fingers and see if we don't see anything down in that section. If not, we'll make our way further down. And um, yeah, it should be a good hunt. All right, let's get at it. Jeffrey! What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, dude? You made it. Dude, I'm glad you made it, man. That's Heck so cool. Heck yeah. God damn, man. Dude, look at this day. Dude, it's amazing, brother. Ooh. Mm 
even 54 degrees. I actually have, I think I have one layer too many on. Actually. Yeah. At least it's yeah. It's slow at least. Yeah, but that's not good. Those smells three, four hundred yards away. Damn. Well, let's get down there. Hopefully, the wind is better down there. Yep. And we can find a spot to sit around that oak with the wind in our face. That's cool. Fresh tracks right there. Alright guys, so we're set up here right uh, right by that red oak that was dropping. Um, we've got about an hour and a half of daylight left, so let's see what happens. Guys, we are uh, going to make a quick move. The wind shifted on us. Mm -hmm. All right, let's make it. Let's make it happen. We're going to beat some feet up this hill here. Get to the top of the ridge. And uh, reposition ourselves on the other side. Jeff and I made the move. It took us about 15 minutes to get clear, cleaned up over there and get over here to this position. Um, we're back, this is a much better position for wind for us. So we're really hoping we'll see something here. We've got, what do we got left? I think, 517. Five, yeah, so we got probably 35 minutes left of legal shooting light. Like, 45 minutes, guys.
Guys, that happened fast, man. We literally just set up. We have four does across in front of us about 70 yards. They were moving so fast, they never gave me an opportunity to set up and take a shot. We're not going to move from here. We're hoping that a couple more pop up that same route. It's decision time. Do we chase the three or do we stay put? But we just heard some voices down in the valley. Uh, so that changes things quite a bit. That's going to delay the deer moving from down there quite a bit. chase those deer. We're gonna head that way. My excitement level's way up. <laughs> okay guys, we got 15 minutes left of legal shooting light and where we saw those deer it was about 200 yards that way and in between this spot and where we've seen them there's a lot of thicket so I'm hoping that they just bedded in that thicket and then in this waning light they're gonna make the decision to come out and walk this ridge line here Whew. hopefully they do that let's see Two minutes left. All right. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, guys. Um, I tell you what, let me let me let Jeff start on this one. All right, so yeah, we were sitting down in that first spot. It felt like a good spot. Then the wind kind of changed on us, so we decided to go a little further down in. And we sat at a place that we have been at before. Yeah. There's an old, you know, like a natural made ground blind there. And uh, so we decided to set up there. Wind was good. And then not even 10 minutes of being oh there. Oh my gosh, yeah. A group of four deer came out. 75 maybe 75 yard shot. yards yeah and um they came out kind of quick after they made it up the hill dan never was able to get a good shot at it oh at them. yeah all i had in my scope or in my on my crosshairs was the tail end of a deer mm -hmm. and I, I don't like taking those shots so yeah no nah, unethical um but you know about five ten minutes later we started hearing a group of hikers with a dog way yeah. down below us maybe yep. a half mile down below us we realized that must have been what spooked the deer out of their bed yeah. which we were right over yeah and um so we decided to come out and see if we can hightail it after the deer and he set up in one spot and i continued on a little bit further um i ended up jumping four deer out of a field yeah further up but you actually saw some maybe the same group bedded down no no i never saw them okay again. you never saw yeah, them i just yeah. saw those four but yeah gotcha so yeah so yeah, we, you moved four more though after yeah that. yep i've moved four more out of, out of the back side of that field potentially could have been the same deer but he Correct. was in a what 500 yards from from where easily. we were easily and where we had seen the initial group of deer and, and i had moved four deer out of there last uh, i think it was last week mm-hmm so potentially could have been a separate group of deer or could have been the same could Who have knows? been the same yeah that could be their area yeah well what an exciting end what an exciting end mm -hmm. of the day though yeah that was that, that was, was really awesome. exciting man it's yeah, the most action we've had in yeah. a couple of weeks so yeah it's been it's been fun man it's been a lot of fun well i you know first i want to i want to I wanna thank my wife for tolerating <laughs> me this year because i have hunted hard this year i've been out and about quite a bit so I want to thank my wife Jessica for that, and uh, she's been she's been really really good and understanding on uh, on this season. So it's been it's been fun. It's been a riot for me. I think that this is going to end 
the uh, season for me, um, besides the possibility of going down and participating in that Ithaca program uh, that we have here in New York. Uh, it's called it's a DMFA program that the state's running to try to harvest or uh, take out some of the uh, uh, antlerless deer down in Ithaca. So I may participate in that one or two days, but technically this is the end of uh, my season uh, for 2021 in New York. Mm -hmm. It's been a hell of a season. Yeah, and for 2022, my hope is to bring you guys uh, some more archery shooting, um, uh, maybe even some sighting in of uh, any of the firearms that we use afield. And um, we're also planning a, a trip to the Great American Outdoor Show. So yeah, a couple weeks. A couple weeks away, yeah. So that's yeah. Uh, that should be a pretty uh, fun event. And then uh, I'll show you guys some of the highlights of that trip. And... Um, yeah, and we also have a game dinner that we're going to do. We try to do a game dinner every year. Um, so that, that should be a lot of fun. Maybe we'll bring you some of the highlights of that. We all get together. Everybody brings it. It's like a potluck. Everybody brings a little bit of uh, uh, venison or uh, whatever they harvested throughout the year. And we throw a nice little uh, dinner to, uh, for everybody to get together and tell their hunting story. So Awesome. Yeah. So it it's been a hell of a year, man. Bro. Thanks, man. I learned yeah, a lot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, for all the boys. And uh, we want to thank you guys for watching again. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you. See you. Where are they at, Joe? They're in my backpack. All right. All right. Here. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you dig through that, and then I'll hold your, your gun. To my shoulder? Uh, not, well, I would. Yeah, yeah. Hip fire hurt? yeah, you could hip fire it too if you want. Yeah. Here we go, he's clearing the muzzle loader. Oh god, I hope so. Oh god. <laughs> I'm not even gonna put my face near it. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Oh, thank goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not much thing to worry about. There you go, man. He cleared the muzzle loader. <laughs> Done deal. Wow. <laughs> I well, don't want the 2021 season to end. <laughs> so we set up base camp here on the side of the road. Yep. Little coffee and tuna. A little tuna fish and protein, <laughs> some coffee. Yeah. Heck in it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, bro. <laughs>